Good morning everyone, John Cor here, McClinton Mitsubishi, and it is just a nasty day here in the Mid-Ohio Valley. As you can tell, we got a little bit of snowfall, it's raining, it's wet, and I uh, just want to show you real quick, in these adverse driving conditions, I want to show you how to operate uh, the four-wheel drive system on a Mitsubishi Outlander Sport. So one of the easiest ways to tell if your Outlander Sport has four-wheel drive is right back here on the windshield or back window i'm sorry of course it will indicate right there it says four wheel drive and there's also a button inside now one thing to keep in mind the four wheel drive slash all wheel drive system on the outlander sport is different than the one on the outlander and the eclipse cross they have super all wheel control and this is more of a more general all wheel drive slash four wheel drive system and the Outlander PHEV has yet a third all-wheel drive system, which is also called Super All-Wheel Control. But it, too, is different than this and different than the one on the normal Outlander slash Eclipse Cross. But let's go inside and take a look. Okay, now we're inside of the 2020 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport. This one is a GT trim but the all wheel drive slash four wheel drive system will be the same no matter which trim level you have as long as your Outlander Sport is equipped with it. And the first thing I wanna do is just clear this windshield off real quick. Um, nice snowy weather here in the Mid Ohio Valley. So down here on the console, you'll see your all wheel drive button slash four wheel drive button. But now on this vehicle, it has, you'll notice it says uh, four wheel drive there, but it has three different drive modes for the four-wheel drive system. Now, right now, this vehicle, uh, the four-wheel drive system is not engaged. It's in two-wheel drive only, which if, you know, on a, on a perfect day where driving conditions are perfect and you're on drive pavement, maybe you're doing highway traveling, no rain, the two-wheel drive mode is the best one because it's the most efficient. Okay, but like on a day like today where, you know, it, it's sleeting out and, you know, it's not the most ideal driving conditions, you're going to want to use your four-wheel drive system. So uh, right now, like I said, it's, it's in two-wheel drive. But if you click this button once on the console, you'll notice that we just put the four-wheel drive system on and it indicates four-wheel drive auto. Essentially what that means is the vehicle will still be mostly front-wheel drive. However, if it, uh, if it detects some sort of slip, it'll send power to the rear wheels. Very standard all-wheel drive system in that regard. Most all-wheel drive systems work that way. Um, you're, especially in modern crossovers that are front-wheel drive bias, your front wheels are the ones with you know the drive wheels, and then when they indicate slip, the rear wheels, rear wheels are engaged. However, on Mitsubishi, what sets it apart a little bit on the Outlander Sport, and once again, this is a different all-wheel drive system than what's available on the Outlander and the Eclipse Cross. If you hit this button again, you'll notice that it says four wheel drive lock. And essentially what that is doing is, um, and, and it's gonna send more torque to the rear wheels, um, essentially locking the four wheel drive system in. So all four wheels have traction or all four wheels have drive, if you will. When do you use this? Now you don't wanna use this all the time. So if you're in a situation like today where you're, you know, it's adverse, you're gonna use all wheel drive auto, Let's say you're going up a steep incline that has snow or, or sleet on it or anything that's you know, not ideal. You'll lock that in and you'll have more power to the rear wheels. Once again, locking the four wheel drive system so that you have better traction. You won't want to use this all the time. You know, it's, it's mainly just for use in you know, those, those adverse driving conditions. Uh, snow, mud, if you're, if you're going up a muddy incline, um, you won't want to use it all the time. So on most of the day, like today, you're going to use the four-wheel drive auto. Um, but when conditions get really bad, you want to use that four-wheel drive lock. Um, you know, notice it's, it's kind of locking the little white box there in the middle is the, the, the differential. It's essentially, it's, it's an uh, electronic locking differential. So that's why it's sending power to the front and rear wheels, rear wheels at the same time. So there's front-wheel drive or two-wheel drive then all-wheel drive, and then all-wheel drive lock, four-wheel drive lock. So um, I always suggest changing it when your vehicle is stopped. Be sure to read your vehicle's manual to know more about that. One other thing while we're talking about 
adverse driving conditions. And this is something that I personally learned uh, the hard way with my Mitsubishi. I have an Outlander Sport as well. Mine's front wheel drive only. Uh, right here, you see your traction control. Now, m my former vehicle was not a Mitsubishi. And if you just push the button like that, it would turn the traction control off. Well, I didn't read my car's manual when I bought it. And I was in a situation where I needed to turn that off. And I couldn't figure it out. I thought it was broken because I just kept hitting it like that and nothing was happening. Well, it turns out on a Mitsubishi, you need to hold the button down for a few moments. And then up here on the dash, you'll see it show you know, traction control off. That's the little light there on the right. And of course, this also turns the forward collision mitigation off as well. Uh, so if you're in a situation where you need to brake traction, if you need those wheels to spin, that's how you do it. Then to turn it back on, it's just one simple click. So be sure to hold that button down if you need to uh, engage or turn your traction control off or if you need to disengage it. Well, we'll cover the all-wheel drive system, the super all-wheel control, and the Outlander slash Eclipse Cross. It's just a bit more technologically advanced, and it's, it's, it's got a few more features that this doesn't have. But don't get me wrong, the Outlander Sport is capable in snow um, as long as you pay attention and you know, drive with some sense. You won't have any issues during the winter time. All right. If you have any questions, comment below, give us a call 304-422-6501. Or, you know, just, you know, check out our website and click Mitsubishi.com. All right, everyone have a great day.